Padma Shri in 2020 and renowned oncologist Dr. Ravi Kanan has been conferred the prestigious Raman Magsese Award on Thursday. Kanan joined Kachar Cancer Hospital and Research Center in Silchar in Kachar District of Assam in 2007 and built it from scratch. He has won the hearts of many of his patients from across Northeast India in his relentless service in healthcare, especially in curing cancer patients. Apart from his medical practice, Kanan had been vehemently advocating for cancer awareness. He dedicated the award to his staff and people of this region for their support and his mother. Our correspondent Aniruta Laskar spoke to him a while ago. Let's have a look. We have with us Padmashri Dr. Ravi Kannan. In 2020, he got the Padmashri. And today, once again, he has been awarded with Raman Maxese Award. First of all, I would like to congratulate you on behalf of Hornbill TV. Sir, your first reactions on getting this award? That this is for all of us. This is for human endeavor and human spirit. It's not for me. And so I think every award, every recognition is for people linking hands with each other to try and improve the lot of fellow human beings a little bit at a time. By way of money, by way of teaching, by way of education, by way of volunteering time. So many ways in which people support our activity. My colleagues in the hospital, the society, the community at large, people other parts of the country, people outside the country, people who have never seen local people. But they still want to support, you know, to, to improve the lot of fellow human beings. And I think the award recognizes that spirit, in, that spirit of goodness in people. That's what it's about. So one more thing. In 2007 you came, you are a renowned oncologist known all over India. What brought you here in 2007? And for the last 16 years we have seen, you have, you know, grown this Kachar Cancer Hospital. So what was your contribution and what do you think about this cancer institute? See, it's not my contribution. It's our contribution. As I said, it's, it's, I really believe, you know, it's not about me. I alone could not have done anything. But I have colleagues in the hospital and we have grown from 23 people. We are now 450 people. And then the community at large supports us so strongly. The local administration, every time we go, they always say yes. People elsewhere support. And so, bit by bit by bit, we have grown. And growth is inevitable. See, if I had not come here, somebody else would have come and done the right thing, same things. Just that the situation was right for something like this to happen. So you strive very hard for cancer awareness. So what, what, what is the focus behind that? Because cancer is such a preventable disease. Cancer is such a disease that can be detected so early and we can avoid a whole lot of unnecessary deaths. And just because you are born in a certain place should not decide whether you live or die. See, cancer occurs because of tobacco, areca nut, alcohol, poor diet, lack of exercise and infections. The same five causes also are responsible for heart attack, for stroke, for diabetes, for hypertension, for COPD, peripheral, so many other diseases which are equally important, equally dangerous. And when we prevent cancer, we not only prevent cancer, we also prevent a whole lot of other diseases. India is transitioning from a developing to a developed country. And our diseases are also transmitting from infectious to non-communicable diseases. We are slowly seeing a rise in number of non-communicable diseases. And all of these are preventable. So even you believe that Northeast is also very carcinogenic region? Northeast is not a carcinogenic region. The lifestyles promote cancer. There is so much of tobacco use, so much of areca nut use, so much of alcohol use. Diet is so rich in red meat. And so it is not the people or the genetics or the region. It is the lifestyle which promotes it. And this is something we can change. Behavior change is about through education. And all of us are responsible for this. We are, we are bound to improve the lot of our fellow citizens. And healthcare and education are basic things that must be available everywhere. Education, I don't mean school wrote education. I mean general education about lifestyle, about so many, about their rights, about their responsibilities, about resources available. Education has a very broad uh, term, but this is a basic human right. Last question, sir. Whom would you dedicate this award now? <laughs> so, as I told you earlier, I dedicate it to my colleagues in the organization, my patients, people here, and above all, my mother. Thank you very much, sir. So you have heard Dr. Ravi Kannan, Padma Shri, and now a MXSA award, dedicating it to everyone and including his mother. In Silchar, Anur Daskar for Hornbill TV.